we're actually um, hosting a debate at the end of term, which is uh, based on the Netanyahu quote that um, Iran is just a wolf in sheep's clothing. Um, do you agree with that statement, considering the nature of the regime? Has it changed or not? Do you see a shift in policy? Well, the nature of the regime is such that irrespective of which formation the regime puts forth, it is inherently at some point and unable to allow for reform to ever take place. When you have a supreme leader that can at any time veto any kind of legislation or decision, and a guardian council or unelected officials that can rule by decree, there's no due process of legislation or law that can make it possible for any reform to come from within. Hence the obstacle that up to a point you get a, a, a blocking effect and thereby it frustrates any attempt to try to bring change from within. In that sense, I would agree that the regime's appearance may be for purposes of external uh, consumption, but in reality, nothing has really changed inside Iran. Now, I would like very much to see progress in the direction of some steps away from uh, what the regime is. In other words, can Rouhani, I doubt it, but let's say for the sake of argument, can there be a Gorbachev in Iran that can change things to the point that the regime will ultimately implode? Or will it be yet again the blocking coming from the very top, frustrating yet again any hope for real change towards the right direction? We have all to wait and see what happens. But in that light, if I may elaborate a little bit more, one of the key issues I have long argued vis-a-vis -vis Western governments in particular was that I think it is time that the world looks at any approach or engagement with Iran not to be limited to a dialogue with the regime and its representative. There ought to be a dual track approach, meaning that at the same time dialogue is necessary with the existing regime. It is imperative that true dialogue, to a much greater extent than we have had so far, exists with secular Democrats within Iran as the voices of the opposition. Because we cannot afford to say, let's hold our breath for another two years and only allow the regime to gain time. And time is important as we approach the sort of <laughs> uh, fail-safe point without giving the people of Iran a chance and go straight from failed diplomacy to military attack. That's very important, and that's why I think it's important that um, we are all focused on that. And dialogue has to become uh, possible, because if for whatever reason it doesn't work the other way, we haven't wasted time on the other hand. And it's also impor important in the sense of the empowerment proposition that I do, because change from within is always more legitimate at the least cost, as opposed to foreign intervention that may bring change but it may be not necessarily leading to a democratic outcome, and it is often at a very high cost, as we have witnessed in places like Afghanistan or Iraq or even in Libya, for instance.